so I'm bringing you a very short video today for anyone who is injured in their shoulders, been told to rest the shoulders, which of course we do need to do for our recovery, but also we still want to keep the body moving so that all of our nutrients um, can flow, they're carried through the, the blood. Um, so this movement, super simple, super soothing, a simple arm circle, but fold forward as you circle the arm. So we're going to fold forward, let the arm hang and relax, and then start to a circle. I say circle, maybe imagine there's pens on the tips of your fingers, drawing circles onto the floor. But keep the hand relaxed and keep the muscles in the arm relaxed as well. That's it. And we can go back in the opposite direction. And what you'll find is, hopefully, you can move the arm without bringing too much pain into any injuries around the uh, muscles that support the arm. Often it's the rotator cuff muscles, so all these ones surrounding um, the joint. As you'll notice, you know, if you do a circle, this is quite intense on those muscles. So do work equally to both sides, even if it is just one arm, or one shoulder, sorry, set of muscles that are injured, relaxed arm, and we're just circling round in one direction, back in the opposite direction, working both sides, keeping balance, keeping relaxed, and maybe you can repeat that throughout your day to help speed up your recovery. Um, and I did also, you know, when we're doing these moves, we want to send the breath into these areas of the body and I did put up a three-day breathing challenge and I'm quite sure it's day two that will show you how to really utilize the breath to sort of maximize on its potential particularly where where healing is concerned so maybe pop over there definitely do the shoulder circles and um, yeah good luck with your recovery